and so she also gave me a medication for the itchiness so that it would stop hey mamas welcome back to my channel and welcome to another pregnancy talk i am so sorry i am a little late on this but you all know that i give birth to my son early um, he's a premature baby at 33 weeks and one day so yes i have my hands full fast <laughs> anyways um today i'm gonna be giving you guys my uh second trimester summary so if you're interested then please keep on watching all right guys so from the last time i spoke to you regarding the lamp on my arm from the uh, makina shot and um, from the makina shot and also the headaches well it got the mic the lamp went away but the headaches got worse you guys from i'm not gonna give you the exact week here but i'll put it on the side if i remember but yeah the the next week after i talk to you guys the next week Oh my goodness you guys after my, my kina the next saturday was horrible i have this huge headache all over my head that i could barely move like my neck i could barely move i was in bed for like most of the time unless i had to you know help my toddler use the bathroom or help my toddler you know eat give you know feed my toddler is what i meant other than that i had to just lay in bed I couldn't wait for my husband to come home I, I couldn't do anything you guys it was just not good if you hear swishing on the side it's my son he's in a swing right now so that's how I can do this video anyways so that day I called the on-call doctor because it's a Saturday and usually my doctors are not there so I called the on-call doctor and um, I was just asking them what, what I should do because you know I have um, I'm taking Tylenol but the Tylenol is not working at all right now um, so the doctor just suggested to just keep on taking the Tylenol for the weekend and they're just coming the next Tuesday uh, and they can see if they can stop the Makina shot or not um, because they're on call doctor they are not my real my actual doctor so they don't really know the real you know my my case so uh, my husband had to take care of me when he came home my mom had to come over and take care of me and the next sun the next day was sunday so my my husband was off so that was another week the week starts um, my pregnancy weeks starts on sundays so there was um, another week that started that sunday the the headache was still there but it was less painful and on monday the headache went away so i knew exactly that was because of the makina uh shot so when I went to see the doctor on Tuesday, she, she suggested for me to take aspirin. Um, aspirin is not usually suggested for pregnant women because it's not really safe. But she said because I'm on my second trimester already that I'm, I'm like uh, more safer than first trimester women i guess so she suggested aspirin um she she suggested a different medication too like a stronger one than you know tylenol because tylenol is the most safest you know medication to take when you're pregnant but um she, she suggested something else and it has caffeine so i don't deal well with caffeine so i said no to that so she gave me aspirin and actually the aspirin did help you guys um but I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't tell until I got my shot again on Fridays because remember, I get my, you know, my my Kenna shot every Friday. So while I was there, I was asking about my glucose test, and they say, okay, since you're supposed to do it at around 16 weeks, but since you're here, we can do it today. So I went ahead and did my glucose test that day, and uh, well, I didn't get the result yet until you know when I came back on Friday to get my shot. But while I was there, also I told them that I had this extreme like really itchy palm and really itchy bottom of uh, my feet um, it could be a case of this that's the name right there um, so they thought okay I should be I should be checked for that so she's she suggested for me to um, fast to do a fasting eight hour fasting and come in for a blood test um, to see if I have the um, the specific uh, disease or the specific um, sickness while you're pregnant and so she also gave me a medication for the itchiness so that it would stop but the thing is you guys 
the itchiness and the headache only happened after I get the Makina and only lasted for like three days like Friday Friday afternoon evening Saturday and Sunday so it's two day and a half and after it, go, it goes away but the, it's extremely itchy like sometimes my hand is so hard from me itching it like it gets so stiff and hard over here you know like where the palm is like soft it gets super hard you guys like it's weird and my feet do the same um, my kind of shot is a progesterone shot if you don't know my kind of shot is to help keep the baby in so obviously the answer on that Tuesday if I can get off the McKenna or not is no because I am I had high risk of you know get, getting a premature baby again the McKenna is supposed to help stop that premature uh, risk which it didn't work because well my baby was born at 33 weeks and one day like I said but anyways we'll get to that in another video but yes I went to get my McKenna shot which is on the arm um, I told you guys before like before before mine that they have it on the bottom they put on your bottom before and now it's on the arm because it's like he it's like the allergy EpiPen anyways so I got my McKenna shot and the doctor went there to talk to me about my result my uh, glucose test result she said that I have to do another eight hour fasting because my glucose test went a little bit high so this is where the real thing came guys <laughs> I might have gestational diabetes she says so I have to do the glucose test again so I already did an eight hour fasting the night before and you know how hard it is for pregnant woman to fast at all like yeah anyways so I did the eight hour fasting and I have to do another eight hour fasting again for that glucose test and yeah so I did another eight hour uh, eight hour test uh, eight hour fasting I want to get my glucose test during that eight hour every hour okay so they take my blood at the first time I get there for the fasting and I have four hours that they will draw my blood every hour for to test if I'm really you know if I really have gestational diabetes or not so eight hours plus four hours not eating pretty much so every hour they, they took my blood every hour they took my blood so you know obviously you have to like distract yourself you have to bring your phone watch some videos read some books you know because you have to be at that you know <laughs> at that place for four hours and they will take your take your blood um, they said that you know some people drop what that means is some people get too hungry that they just faint or they just cannot finish the test because they're too hungry uh, to finish the test um, so they said that if that happened then I might have to go through that again so I prayed to God that you know what let me go through this let me finish this test because it's hard not to eat while you're pregnant <laughs> anyways so I finished the four, the whole four hours. They, my blood, my vein was hurting so much already. Uh, the last one they had to take it from my hand because I, if you keep on poking the same vein, how many times it hurts? You know what I mean? Like ah. So anyways, yeah, they poked me four times to take my blood to see if I really have the gestational diabetes or not and while waiting for the results again i had another week and then that weekend is when i was testing if the aspirin really helps with the headache with uh, from the mckenna shot and guess what it did help you guys i'm so relieved and then the medication from the itchiness also helped um so yeah i could live again for a little bit after that for my during my pregnancy i could live in the next time i had my doctor's appointment which is another friday they told me that I did have gestational diabetes so what that means is I have to watch what I eat from now on from then on I had to watch I had to count every carbs that I eat so mainly bread um, bread and pasta and rice which I mean I eat rice every day I'm Malagasy and I eat rice every day people in Hawaii eat rice every day so that was pretty hard but the thing is I didn't really know what was gonna, what was I supposed to do because my doctor just said that but they say, also said that I need to see a specialist on that um, gestational diabetes and then we're gonna have to take a class after 
so I couldn't see the specialist until a little bit later so I had to reschedule it all the time because I need somebody to watch my child they needed the appointment not to be Friday but like a different day of the week so I had to ask my friend to watch Rina Bella for me so then I had to reschedule it like a little bit later like after Thanksgiving so the whole three weeks between that the week that I found out I have gestational diabetes until after until my appointment I just didn't know what I was supposed to do like I just looked it up online what am I supposed to eat and stuff I obviously didn't do the, the right things but I tried um, I eat brown rice but like I eat a lot of brown rice <laughs> you know things like that um, so I still didn't know what I was supposed to do Thanksgiving came and I could barely eat most of the food I just ate like meat pretty much uh, okay this camera is almost dead so let's finish this fast okay so then I did um, I finally saw the doctors and they spoke to me about you know what to expect uh, they said that you know I'm just gonna have to get the sweeter choice class that's what it is it called it's a class that teaches you you know what what's a di um, gestational diabetes is what are you supposed to do what to eat how much literally like everything you need to know so I did that um i talked to them and they said you know if that doesn't work then you, j you might just have to get insulin uh insulin shot which you just put in your arm like i already get shot every friday for the mckenna and if this gestational diabetes gets worse i have to get insulin also shot on my arm like every day or something so i'm just like no i just have to make this work so then i got the class in the class like i said they told you everything you need to know they show you like picture of like ex they make like you know made um, handmade food that looks real and they show you like how much exactly you need to eat of these certain foods um there's there's the uh, free food which is um, vegetables most vegetables and meat those are free foods so what that means is you can eat as much as you want of those and the carb is what you need to uh watch for right they teach you all of that they show you like vision they feed you guys yes they gave us free food and i was so surprised because you know what the food was a lot it was a lot but like portioned so that's exactly what they want to show us like you can eat as much as you want like you're pregnant we don't want to starve you you just need to watch what you want watch what you eat and portion it so it was a lot of food you guys almost couldn't finish it and they gave us a book to look over and um, they gave us um, this the needle the needles and where to put the needles and then the machine measure uh, to measure it I don't have everything here right now because I want to do a separate video of that and also my camera is dying right now so they gave you everything that you need to know and uh, you know they'll follow up with you once a week on email if you need help and things like that but they also said you know follow these and exercise you need to exercise um, you need to walk 30 minutes every day if this this don't work it's not a big deal you just need to get the insulin right because um, gestational diabetes is risky for the baby because you don't want a big baby also you don't want the baby to drop like the sugar level of the baby to drop really low as soon as the baby is born because there's no more sugar from mama um, to the baby because you know gestational diabetes is like a, too much sugar really coming to from you to the baby so every single day from then i did the gestational diabetes uh, the food plan and i did the exercise we walked me and rina bella walk every day to you know pick up my husband from work or just go shopping we just walk from my house to the mall because it's not that far from the mall it's not that close either but it's like it's, it's fine and you know i was fine actually walking made me feel better um and it made my sugar level go lower too so walking was really good for me um yeah you guys and then other things that you guys need to know during my second trimester um i i had some leakage um a couple times i didn't notice it but my husband saw that it was like wet you know like i was wearing a whatever i was wearing then it was wet over there 
um, so yeah I had some leakage um, I did know I did mention that to my doctor and uh, I see I saw another specialist again about that um, I did have some leakage and they measured my water level um, you know around the baby um, my my OB did that and he said it's safe but um, you can still you need to still see the specialist when I saw the specialist they measured the water and they said it's low but it's still on the safe level um, they wanted to see me one month after that time that I saw them but I gave birth before that <laughs> um, but yeah the water the leakage was not a lot like my water broke this time around so I know what well, how it is how it feels like during a water breaking it's almost like you're having your period but it's water so you really feel it but the leakage was just water water splashing like a bunch of water that wets your pants and your underwear but it's not a lot like a water breaking so you guys if you have something like that you still need to talk to your doctor because you never know you want the water level around the baby to be as much as possible you don't want it to reduce because of risk of bacteria and also you know risk of you know premature birth so you need to you know get those things in check you guys um yeah so uh, that's pretty much the end of my second trimester you guys I'll talk to you again in my um, uh, third trimester summary because obviously my third trimester was pretty short cut short as always <laughs> um, but yeah that's my second trimester um, like I said I'll do a separate video regarding the McKenna regarding the um, um, regarding the gestational diabetes and things like that I'll do a separate video so that you guys have a whole understanding of it but I think I'm gonna cut this off right now because my camera is going to die anytime soon thank you so much mamas for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave them below if you are new please subscribe to my channel it will help me a whole lot um, yeah that's pretty much it you guys uh catch me up in all my social media if i'm not on youtube i'm always there all right talk to you in another video bye guys